Today I've got a big video. I've got three different floral projects together in here. And this video is part of the April Showers Bring May Flowers video hop. And this hop is hosted by Simply Becky D and co-hosted by Crafting in Mimi's World. And we've got a $200 giveaway. So stay tuned for the details on how you can be entered in the giveaway and when we will draw the names of the winners. If you're new to my channel, could you do me a favor and consider subscribing? I would really appreciate it if you also left a like and a comment down below because it would really help my channel grow. DIY number one. My first floral project is going to be wrist corsages. Uh, my daughter was invited to go with her friend to her prom and I wanted to make sure they had flowers. <laughs> I mean, that was part of the prom experience when I was a kid, you know, getting a, getting a corsage. So I have all these flowers. I needed to make a video. It was a win-win situation. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together uh, two wrist corsages um, for them for their prom. All right, so first what I want to do is pick my picks or pick my pieces. I want to use one each of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut them down. Eh, I don't really need to cut them down, I guess. I'll just take them off here. And I think I want to use some of this greenery. These like boxwood picks. I'm going to use these pretty cool looking like, I don't know, almost like lavender. I think these are pretty neat. A couple of these. Anything else here? Should I do? Yeah, okay, that'll do. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. I always do that. Okay, and here. I like cherry blossoms. I'm not going to use the, the leaves. Just cherry blossoms. I haven't done this for a very long time. I did the florals for my wedding. Corsage, corsages, boutonnieres, bouquets, all that stuff. That's been a very long time, so I'm out of practice. <laughs> I think that'll do. And I'm also going to use these picks I found in my stash, these floral stems here. I think what I'll do is uh, use these like as the base of the corsage. Now comes the fun part, assembly. I'm not going to need this whole piece off here. here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take ribbon and uh, these are going to be just tied onto their wrists with ribbon instead of a, you know, like a typical corsage I forget what they call those things. They're little metal pieces. It's like you glue all this stuff too, and then you uh, you put the, the fabric in, and then you glue all this stuff to it. So these aren't going to really be like that. Just got to figure out how I want to put them together. I want to do bunched up. Yeah. 
something like that. And just some extra greens in there just to make it interesting. Something like that. So I'll glue. Well, I guess I don't have to do that. I can shove this down on top probably, huh? There we go, got it in there. I think I'm gonna make each one just a little different. each one I mean look there's already a boot near boom done <laughs> ah my hands and I aren't getting along today Glue this stem, this stem right to that. I debated on using hot glue over floral wire, but for the purposes of the video, I decided I was just going to go ahead and do the hot glue. <clears throat> So I don't know if I mentioned this, um, this video is part of a video hop, uh, which means it starts at one place and you hop to the next and so on and so on and so on. Uh, the person next in the hop from me, her link will be down there in my description box. So go make sure you check her and she'll have the next link in hers and on and on until you make the full circle back to this video. And I'll, I'll also give you the details on how to enter the giveaway here in a little bit in the video. Um, I've got a lot to, <laughs> I've got a lot to show you here today. It's already starting to take shape. I am going to add a, like a bow you know, some ribbon there too, to help conceal. <clears throat> so I don't really have any tiny filler flowers. I did, but I don't know where I put them. I misplace everything. I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. Okay, next. <laughs> I'll find a place to stick this little guy. I'm going to trim off these extra pieces that aren't necessary here. I need to get my, okay, I got my silicone tool, hold it down. Okay, that's not quite working out the way I want it to either. And for good measure. Oh, 
my fry down to cover that up. I feel like it needs something else. Some white. Ribbon on this side, perhaps. This glue just does not want to get cold yet. I think I'm going to trim that down. That guy back on there. And I realize that this is not a traditional corsage in any way. But they're not traditional kids. I don't mind telling you. <laughs> my daughter was really just not so jazzed about being forced into a dress for prom. <laughs> just not her jam all right I think there's one I think that one looks okay I'm going to trim this one down a little further just a little more really don't want it to be sticking out too far. Realizing I don't even need to be recording this part, but I am. So, okay. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. Number one. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is the ribbon that I'll be using to tie it. And I'm going to cut it long for two reasons. A, they have plenty of room to tie it. B, pretty dangly bit. Dovetail the ends because it's ribbon and who doesn't? All right. And there we go. So I'm going to find the center. Right about there. Okay. So I need to adhere it to the back. All right. I'm just going to let that sit in care for a little while. I had other footage of these. Uh, <laughs> the phone that I had bricked on me and I lost a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to have to stuff some pictures in here to show off the finished result of the corsages. Um, so yeah, they turned out pretty cute. Um, definitely not your typical prom or homecoming corsage you know no, no carnations uh wasn't elastic um but they seem to to work out pretty well and you know the girls really liked them match match their colors okay and that was that was pretty much all that mattered <laughs> and here's a picture uh from prom night and my daughter wearing hers Yeah, they look pretty good. DIY number two. All right, so I've got three icing containers, some acetone, my homemade chalk paint, some raffia ribbon, paintbrush, glue gun. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint these into cute little planter pots. So I'm just going to take some acetone and hope that this doesn't hold my plastic containers. <laughs> and clean off the residue. There we go. And I'll do that with the other two. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a paint job. I considered doing the uh, baking soda trick, but I have this still on hand and I just kind of wanted to use it up. So I'm just going to go around and give these, oh I don't know, probably two coats of paint until they're uh, pretty well opaque. Alright, so now that these are, well, relatively dry, <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take some of this painter's palette. Try and get that focused in. Okay. This painter's palette, uh, it's a plaid product. It's available at Family Dollar. And, okay. I'm going to use that and I'm going to go around the rims. Kind of give it that enamel look. All right, now I think I'm going to put a little raffia around here. 
I think I'm just going to wrap it around a few times and glue it down and then make a little bow for it. All right, I cut my strands. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around about three times. And in this case, I want it in the front because I'm going to put a little bow, which will hide the glue. Cut off the excess. Alright. Yeah, let it look a little bit messy is fine. So I'm going to take How big do I want to make it? About like that. I'm going to do one. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, let's just do five. We'll just do five pieces. That, that sounds good to me. All about the same length and I'm gonna like unfold the raffia here and fluff it out some okay here comes the fun part <laughs> mom if you're watching pay attention <laughs> or not it just depends on how good this goes so I'm laying them out kind of like in a crisscross pattern flat. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Let's go. Uh, four. And I remember watching my aunt make bows, and I think this was one of the methods that she used too. One, two. Three, four, five, something like that. I'm going to take a decent sized piece just so I have room to tie it and try to pick these up the way they were laying. <laughs> I probably could have just dropped the hot glue bit there, but and I'm going to see if I'm dexterous enough to tie this one-handed. Why am I not using floral wire? I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. Ha 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 Here we go. We got something. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll make it work. Because it's paper and it's crinkly. So there we go. Hey. Starting to take shape of a bow thing. Go ahead and tighten a knot. No, I really don't have to trim the edges, do I? Alright, we're going to make it uh, six... <laughs> Get a little extra oomph back here. Just fluff that out. And I'm just gonna crinkle it, shape it. There we go. And glue it right down. Oof. Actually, I'm going to drop. No? Okay. Go ahead and glue it down. Put the knotted side down. Right there. Where that little V shape is. <gasps> oh no. Just 
right there. There we go. And of course it took paint off with it, but that's okay. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other two. Alright, so I have all three of them done here. And I thought it would be cute if I gave them the Ray Dunn treatment. So, with my Cricut, I, print, I, I cut out some words. Water plant grow. I'm just going to put right down there. And I won't torture you with the torture of, that is me picking the stuff off of here. <laughs> Got it weeded now. I'm just going to do each letter separately because if you've heard my rants, <laughs> my transfer tape, which is not actually transfer tape, the contact paper, it's not so great. So I'm going to try to do this by hand. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to try transfer tape after all. Alright, now I'm going to attempt <laughs> to get these decals on here. Carefully. Hopefully. try this and get it on here where I want it. I'm going to use it really carefully. There we go. That's going to do right there. Alright, so there's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other two, and then I'll come back and seal it. Alright, I've got those on. And I'm going to use some Mod Podge to seal it in. Alright, I'm just going to seal it in with the Mod Pot. Mod Pot. Mod. Mod. Wow. Y'all, I can't talk today. <clears throat> Mod Podge Matte Finish by Plaid Crafts. And I'm just going to give it a nice, solid coat right here over this decals. On all three, and I'm just going to go on with those. Alright, now I've got these all sealed up with Mod Podge. I'm just going to take some lavender picks and throw in here. Alright, I've 
I've got them filled up and there they are. Let's take a look at how they look styled. There they are. I could have made them look better. I had some issues with the paint because I didn't spray paint. I painted stuff on plastic. wasn't sanded or anything. Well, you know, mistakes were made, but they look kind of cute. DIY number three. All right, my last floral DIY. I'm gonna make a present for my daughter and her friend that are going to homecoming. I'm gonna carry the theme of their corsages into some floral wreaths to hang on their walls. And just to refresh your memory, these are the corsages that I made. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> these are the corsages that I made for them for prom. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of carry this theme through and do the same. Well, I'm gonna do something like that with this for them to hang on their walls. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these outside and I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint these white. All right, I've got my circles painted and I'm going to try to turn these into some little mini wreaths. I've got the flowers and the ribbon that I used in the girls' corsages, and I'm going to attempt <laughs> to make a little minimal wreath with those things. Not quite sure how I'm going to put it together yet. I'm probably going to put it together like the corsages. So I'm going to start with the these white picks, which. I have no idea what they're called. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut them down. Looks like I might have to get another one out of my stash. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of this floral wire for it to adhere to. If anyone has any good advice on how to store florals, please let me know. Because right now I've got them all shoved in a box and then shoved it into my cupboard. <laughs> so there we go, there's four. And I've got, what do I got here? One, two. Okay, I've got four of these already, which I think I'll go for. Actually, I'm gonna go for some boxwood, or I don't know if it's boxwood, some sort of garland I have. All right, so I've got my two rounds here painted uh, to make my little mini wreaths. I've got greenery sprigs and the white flowers, two for each. Um, <laughs> my memory card is full and I took it out and I can't remember where I was when it went off. So what I, I think I'm gonna do is I wanna kind of replicate the corsages and kind of do like a little swag down here like that. So I've got the florals and the ribbon and to fill in some more greenery I think I've got this uh, garland that came from Amazon. It's not quite the same but I think it'll go with I can use some sprigs off just to fill it in. Okay, so I cut the t the the sprigs off, leaving a little bit of the floral wire, so I have something to you know glue together here. And I still can't find my floral wire, so we're using hot glue. <laughs> I've looked everywhere and I cannot find it. <laughs> All right, so to enter into the giveaway, make sure you comment and leave a thumbs up on every video in the hop. And the name will be 
announced on Monday the 19th at 7 p.m. on the various community tabs and through videos, uh, the winner will be announced. So I'm just speeding through this uh, process of me putting these flowers together to go on the wreath. Uh, this video is already going to be long enough. I'm trying to speed it up. <laughs> there was a lot going on here. Um, I'm putting these together, wiring them together with the uh, chenille stem or, you know, pipe cleaner, whatever you want to call it. And getting those little swags put together. Now I'm just going to glue down all of these little picks uh, around the edges. Um, uh, about a quarter, not quite, a, you know, like a third of the way up. And so I've glued these down. And I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so, oops. <laughs> So I just hot glued in the center here and hot glued over top of these last pieces to give it uh, to make it stay down a little more seamless so you won't see those edges. And then what I'm going to do is after I know the glue is set up then I want to take these and, and stick them in there as well. Right now I want to figure out how I'm going to put these together. I think I'll just glue it down right there. And again, I'm just going to fly through the process of me putting this together. Um, just gluing down these uh, cherry blossom picks to the to the part that I already glued down. This isn't really hard. It was pretty easy, just time consuming. <laughs> All right, I'm going to glue this little one down. Uh now I'm looking at, see, I have a couple of these and I didn't want to use them all, but I like it like that, I think. So I'll grab two more. So I'm just going to speed up through this process. Um, I went ahead and I'm gluing those two oh, funky little floral bits there. I want to give them a symmetrical look. And I've been doing that to both of them. Also gluing down petals to help secure and hide, uh, just to make it all look, you know, put together nice. And then I'm just grabbing that same uh, organza ribbon that I used for the corsages at, to tie them on. And I'm using that to make the bows to hang there in the center. Um, I'm just doing three loops, folding them up, squish it together in the middle, using a pipe cleaner to tie it down. And I'll cover that up with something. I can't remember now what it was. If I glued a flower there or just another piece of ribbon to hide that chenille stem that I used to secure it. Okay, I have one bow done here. Uh, it's not the greatest, but we're going to hide it with some stuff. So I just cut a piece. This is going to be the tail. And I'll just clip this. And I'll glue it down here. Glue that down there. Okay, here we go. 
and I will just glue this down here and that and I'll put a flower over top of that all right now I have the bows and the tails on there and I think what I want to do is maybe just take a little white flower a little pink flower and the gloom down there in the center. That'll hide the Hopefully, <laughs> it will hide the chenille stem. <laughs> Give it a clean look, is my hope. Not exactly the same because I realized I put them in the wrong spaces, but oh well. And that's what those look like. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. We'll clean off all the cobwebs and hang them up and we'll see what they look like. Here they are all finished. I think they look pretty cute. A neat way to incorporate the same elements and, you know, have it around as a keepsake. Don't forget that the next video in the hop is linked in my description box below. And in order to enter to win the $200 giveaway, you need to comment and like on every video. And that'll be announced on Monday night, 7 p.m. I believe it's Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'll make sure to put that on my socials and it will be on community tabs uh, throughout the other participants in the hop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye.